This is a quick response to the Amazing Atheist video, 9-11 and the Death of Art. In this video, TJ states that he believes video games are not art, and that he believes video gamers see it as art either because they are sheltered from real art, or because they want public acceptance. It is important to me that video games are considered as art, but it's not so that gamers can feel like we have the respect of the general public. You know, screw the general public. It's so that our medium is protected from censorship. Video games need the same protection that movies, music and pictorial art is given. That's why I think it should be regarded as art for legal reasons. During your video you asked if Call of Duty should be in the same category as the director Kurosaki's work. Imagine if I came out and asked if the scary movie series belonged to the same category as Rembrandt's work. And then said, well since scary movie isn't artistic, all movies are therefore not as artistic and shouldn't be considered art. You see how flawed that reasoning is. Not all movies are artistic. Not all music is artistic. Not all video games are artistic. They all need to be uncensored so that the true artistic pieces can get through without legal meddling. Call of Duty doesn't belong in the same box as Rembrandt, but Killer7 does. There are plenty of games with brilliant emotional intellectual resonance. I like Call of Duty, but I don't think of it as art. There are video games out there that I do consider art. Portal, Psychonauts, Mass Effect. They are artistic to me, although I don't really care if others agree or not.